Hello, welcome to this video where we look at the distance between a point and a plane. We're going to be able to figure out where the, why the formula is what it is and then do a quick calculation for a specific example. So I have a point, call it P1, and I have a plane, generically call it AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals zero. Now, there's infinitely many distances that, that go from the point to the plane. So what is the distance between the point and the plane? It's going to be this perpendicular drop down distance here. Okay, the shortest distance. Here's how we're going to do it. Grab any other random point that's on the plane. Call that point P naught. Take a vector that goes from P naught to our point P1. We'll have X1 minus X naught and Y1 minus Y naught and Z1 minus Z naught. That's the name of that vector B. We have the plane, so we know the normal vector to the plane. That normal vector is A, B, C. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to project the vector B onto the normal vector. The shadow of B onto N will be a vector, and how long that vector is will be the answer to the question, the distance. Remember how we have the component of B on to N? It's just a dot product between the two divided by the magnitude of the vector you're projecting onto. We find that and we have exactly what we need. The projection vector is in blue and how long it is, is our answer to the distance. I'm calling the distance. <clears throat> I'm calling the distance D, capital, uh, capital D here. Since D must be positive, then if it happens to be that this numerator n dot b is, is, is a negative, just make sure that you slap absolute value bars around it. Okay. All right. N is uh, ABC. B is the x1, x, x1 minus x naught and y1 minus y naught and z1 minus z naught. We dot them. So we get A times the quantity of X1 minus X naught, B times the quantity of Y1 minus Y naught, C times the quantity of Z1 minus Z naught. That's our numerator. But let's dig deeper. What if we multiply it out? We have AX1, BY1, CZ1, and then minus AX naught, minus BY naught, minus CZ naught. But that should look familiar from when we had our first um, slide on the equation of a plane that parentheses is actually what we had called uh, D. You see in this problem you have the point x1 y1 z1 you have the normal vector a b c that's six different guys what you're missing is just the D basically and now we have exactly a1, X1, B1, uh, AX1 and BY1 and CZ1, the multiplying of A, B, C with um, X1, Y1, Z1, distributing that, and then add D to it. If it's negative, that's okay. Just make it positive. That's what the absolute value bars are for. And then the denominator is the magnitude of your normal vector, which is just going to be um, A squared plus B squared plus C squared underneath a square root. Okay, so you'll have uh, seven uh, different variables to plug into this formula. The X1, Y1, Z1, the ABC, and the D. Okay, great. So instead of just giving the formula, we got a chance to see where it comes from. Now let's go ahead and do the calculation for a very specific point and a very specific plane. We derive the formula from the other slide. Now let's just plug in. 
what's the value of a, b, and c, and d? Uh, a is 2, b is going to be 1, and c is going to be 2. Uh, and when it comes to d, be careful, the way I have d, it's when it's all set equal to 0. Uh, and then what's the value of x1, y1, z1? It's the point, that's 2, 2, 3. So 2, 1, 2, coefficients on x, y, and z. 2, 2, 3, the coordinates of the point. And since we prefer to have the plane in this format with d being the guy who is um, going to be a constant on the left-hand side, then this equation came at us in a form that if we say d equals 4, we'll actually get the question wrong. Turns out d is negative 4. And so just plug in the players. 2 times 2, 1 times 2, 2 times 3, multiply nicely like that. Take away 4. If it's negative, don't worry. The absolute value bar is around it. Um, the point, uh, the, 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 the denominator, is the magnitude of the normal vector. So that's going to be uh, 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. And then um, take a square root. Should work out nice. 4 plus 2 plus 6 minus 4. And that's divided by, conveniently, uh, square root of 9. So we have 8 in the numerator, with the 4 and negative 4 cancel each other out. 8 thirds is the question, answer to the question. That is the distance between that point and that plane. I should have had a, a, a picture for you, but anyway. Yeah, just plug it into the formula. Now that you derive the formula, you know how to, um, how to use it. In the next video, which is the last video for this series, of, for this set here on lines and planes, instead of looking at the distance between a point and a plane, we'll look at the distance between a point and a line. And it'll go much like this. All right. My name is Nakaya Rimmer. Thank you for watching this video. Please uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I will see you in the next video.